Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. You. Uh, as of as of the first of the year. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes is now uh, copyright free. Free it, free reign. We can make our own Sherlock Holmes content. I don't know what that means. You can be Watson. I'll be Holmes, and we can make Sherlock Holmes videos. I don't like the way you put me directly into Watson. <laughs> I'll be Watson. Nah, no, <laughs> nah, it's fine. I'll be Watson, whatever. Yeah, dude. So so uh, I guess what happened was most of the stories have been public domain for a while, but his last two stories go into public domain this, this year in 23. And I guess like whoever was owned the estate, right, they're trying to latch on saying that since any copyrighted works were available – were still copyrighted that all of them should still be copyrighted and there was like a court battle but now they can't fight anything because it's all public domain or whatever mm. so like so kind of like there's gonna be a winnie the pooh horror movie this year because winnie mm -hmm. the pooh is private domain i want to see people put out some wild ass sherlock holmes content dude like the winnie the pooh sherlock holmes crossover oh my god a furry movie <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sherlock Holmes isn't a furry, Jonas. Yeah, but they'll get make it. They'll make it. <laughs> they could make it. But uh Jonas just wants to see a furry movie. I, I didn't I didn't really read Sherlock Holmes or whatever, but like Nor did I. We should uh we should do some media mocks on some Sherlock Holmes content. We should find some Sherlock Holmes movies and just and just talk over them, man. They they have Sherlock Holmes movies. How do they not? So what a wait, hold on. So this is interesting. I wonder how this affects some of the the recent media that has come out that has been uh, uh geared towards that has Sherlock Holmes as the main character. There was a a series that came out. Yeah, there was a movie with like Robert Downey Jr. I think that was recent. They probably got the right. They probably paid for the rights to use it. That's how most people do it. They they go to that family and pay for the rights to make a movie. Yeah, but with him being public domain now, does that make their movie? I'm sure they have protections against this, but does it make the movies and the series and everything? Does it make I that think public as domain? As long as that stuff was made, like the story and the character have become public domain. I think mm. if they made a movie, it probably isn't because it can't. It hasn't been 75 years since the movie was made or whatever. Okay, okay. Um, but what they said is going to be really interesting. Next year, the 24, Mickey Mouse. It really? Hit, Mickey Mouse hits. hits, And then they were like, which are they're they like, sure, Disney's going to fight the shit out of that to keep that. Yeah. The first that's... ever Mickey Mouse stuff was hits public domain next year. Wow. Which is going to be a big to do because if people can start using Mickey for like whatever. Wow. Maybe not all the characters, but Mickey himself. Yeah, and then the other ones are, sh are short to follow after, man. Right, yeah. yeah. Like Steamboat Mickey or whatever, that first cartoon, I yeah, think, was yeah, yeah. 75 years. Like, Walt Disney died 75 years ago or whatever. Steamboat so. Willie. Holy crap. Yeah, I've seen so. That. Not, dude, not live or anything, but so I So we can it. start making all of our Winnie the Pooh and Sherlock Holmes content because we know that you're a big fan. Uh, I'm a fan of the Winnie the Pooh, Zhi Zha Jing. Look, I'm just going to sound racist. I'm a fan of the... Wow. <laughs> What's his name? Xi Jinping? I don't know, dude. The Chinese... Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Chinese dictator? Yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan of those memes. Z? Xi Jinping? I don't know. It's Z-I. It's X-I, so it's, I think it's Z. G. Because, <laughs> like... Because, like, if you Two have an American it sounds to pronounce like... It Chinese sounds word. like a... Uh, Xi Jinping. It, it sounds like... Like, Z... Z. I'm sorry, X-E-A-N is Jean. Uh, oh, sure. Yes. So it <laughs> sure. would be Z or Zai. Uh, okay. It has like a Z sound. Okay. Yeah, I know. Sure. That's, that's sure. for sure. It's like, uh, it's like N-G-U-Y-E-N is win. That's how it's pronounced. I'll take your word for yeah. it. So I'll take. I didn't realize that you were a Mandarin scholar. I mean, but you're you're proving it every to everybody I, right I now. Those, I know a few things. Either way, I'm a fan of those memes. Uh, when it comes to Winnie the Pooh, anything else, I don't care about Winnie the Pooh. No. He's a disgusting bear that like doesn't have pants on. That's I'm look. Eeyore can get it though. Did how come we've never went to Eeyore's birthday party in Austin? They I have. wanted to. Yeah, it's but a, you didn't want to go. It's debaucherous. What do you mean it's debaucherous? It's not a kid's time. Good. Yeah. Well, I don't want to. I'm not a child. I don't know why you. <laughs> the fuck. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. It happens in April. What do they do? do they like It's a big like hippie it's an, fest. It's an orgy? Park. It's an orgy or something? No, but uh, usually women go topless and they paint their boobs. As Eeyores? As whatever. And they do like drum circles and they have like. Wait, fam. It's, hold at, on. it's, at, a, it's at a park. 
how are you going to wait a minute? So you're telling me that there's an Eeyore's birthday party yes. and it has a bunch of women. Uh, well, I wouldn't even say a bunch of women, but it has people. Oh, there's quite a bit. That's quite. I would say a bunch. It has people doing drugs and yes. the, and the various forms of undress. Yeah, I'll go to the website. Why is this? Why is this a thing? Why when people think Eeyore, do the people think drugs and uh, nudity? Uh, Let's see here. Where, where's the connection here? Eeyore doesn't stand for any of these things. I just like him because he he he's depressed. And hey, I can, Bert. And I can I can I can associate with that to some All degree. All right. Eeyore's birthday party is a day long festival taking place in Austin since 1963. It occurs on the last Saturday of April in Peace Park. Live music, food and drink vending. Uh, okay. Okay. And it says attendees. Uh, attendees in colorful costumes, very large drum circles. The event is frequently by children and families, but it should not be. I, I'm going to throw this part in there. Should not be. Uh, the you festival been... is named in honor of Eeyore, a character in uh, Winnie the Pooh stories. Have you been to one of these? Yes. It's the same park I used to play volleyball in. Okay. And you, so you know that it's not for kids. Yes. <laughs> yes. Kids are there. They have like a little petting zoo and stuff. Yeah. But there's people like you can smell people smoking weed. You All can right. see people with their boobies out covered in paint okay like i mean it's very like i would say like a karen wouldn't take their kid there but a hippie would okay like okay. like if like a karen showed up she'd be like oh my god what is going on here is there a manager i can talk to this lady's boobs are out what, what's the what's the production value here what are we talking about oh like um is it i like mean it looks like a I mean, it's like a like twenty thousand dollar event. Oh no, it's like there's, it doesn't cost anything to get into. It's free. So yeah, but, but it's know, nonprofit. So they have they sell stuff. They have like some snacks and stuff for sale. It's like um, Mount Carmel Bazaar. Okay, so smaller. Yeah, the park isn't very big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, yeah, yeah. And but then, still, uh, yeah, like they could like they could easily set up a stage and have light shows and have, I think like, they people do have like music and stuff and have but people just, performing. But are they famous people or is it just like no, Chad just, brought his guitar and he's gonna? It's a hippie thing, man. Okay. Like, yeah, they ain't getting. I mean, maybe Simon and Garfunkel show up and just a bunch of people like, hey, man, I really like Eeyore, man. Yeah, dude, I think it's just a reason to do drugs. And, you know what? My thing is that I would figure that Eeyore Fest would be like a bunch of uh, overweight women. Um, with large t-shirts with Eeyore on it. Maybe Eeyore with like a bandana and sagging pants or something. or Like, like the Taz Big Bugs Bunny shirts from the yeah, 90s. Yeah, and the Tweety Bird thing. Like yeah. whenever you see the Taz Tweety Bird Eeyore shirts, they're always super big. They're always like a triple X. I swear they only sell them in triple X. And it's always like some some large woman, uh, most likely with like four or five kids. And uh, she lives in a trailer or she's at Walmart. Or she's complaining at the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. That is the only time I see people with Eeyore, Bugs Bunny, Tweety Bird, Tasmania. Like, when did Looney Tunes become white trash? <laughs> when the people who used to watch it grew up, Jonas. <laughs> right. That's I mean, when. There was this, there was this uh, uh, when I was younger, uh, we used to go to this, this strip club. And there was a, a stripper there. She was actually like, she used to come and hang out with us and just chat with us. She was actually really cool. Um she but had she, a tat she, tattoo. She, she had a Tweety Bird tattoo oh, on, on her course. on her left shoulder. Of like, and I'll course. never forget. I'll never forget her just because she was cool and like just the Tweety Bird tattoo stuck out, right? Yeah. And I was like, I want. Sometimes I was like, I wonder what she's doing nowadays. She was actually really cool and chill, but like <laughs> had it had a Tweety Bird tattoo, dude. Like, I was just like the chillest stripper I've ever met. Yep. <laughs> so, but I mean, look honestly. Another place where you would see a Taz, Tweety Bird, Bugs Bunny, Eeyore tattoo right there in a strip club. <laughs> right on her thigh, a big old, uh, a big old Eeyore. I don't understand what the what the infatuation is with that. I mean, I guess like there's like people nowadays who get like video game characters and anime characters tattooed on them. So was, I mean, I guess maybe anime who is loves Taz that much. Uh, well, when you think about it, Jonas, anime is like uh, that was that was the anime back then. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> those were the anime characters. Imagine somebody who gets one of those old cartoons that didn't like, like, didn't make it, like, uh, like Speedy Gonzalez or something. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you should get a Speedy Gonzalez tattoo. <laughs> should I? Yo, Yosemite Sam, don't tread on me tattoo. Right. Eeyore was basically Sasuke. Whether you like to admit it or not, he was. <laughs> I, I would think you would get mad about that. No. Does that make Big Bird Naruto? <laughs> <laughs> Big Bird? Eeyore is not from Sesame Street. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. I was thinking of Snuffleupagus. Ooh, that's Sesame Street. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, Snuffy is basically Sasuke, too. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, go to thecreasedown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out. It's essentially Sasuke. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Did we start?